shopping tonight. The owner of Shipley Donuts is facing a lawsuit filed by former employees claiming sexual harassment and racial discrimination. Janelle Bluda is live at the company headquarters in the Heights. Janelle, tell us more about who is behind this lawsuit. Ron, it's three former employees, all women, all Hispanic. They claim Lauren Shipley and an employee touched them inappropriately and called them names. From inside the walls of this white metal building, the distinguished donut on the outside, comes claims of abuse, discrimination, and sexual harassment spelled out in this lawsuit. They were afraid to say anything, of course. Um, but these comments happened throughout their employment, as well as touching. It was, a, it was a routine occurrence, unfortunately. Three former employees, three Hispanic women, call working at Shipley's Donuts a hostile work environment. And on an ongoing basis, they say they were subjected to unwelcome touching, staring, even spanking. By Shipley's owner, Lauren Shipley III, along with his second employee who is named in the lawsuit but not listed as a defendant. They just put up with it, you know, for, for quite some time. And that, that's typical of many um, people in this, this same situation. Attorney Carla Epperson says her clients also claim discriminatory comments, direct insults targeting their race. A Hispanic term caca to refer to Mexican employees um, in some similar language. But it's not the first time the women are trying to take their former boss before a judge. A lawsuit filed last year in federal court is seeking class action status to reimburse employees for unpaid overtime wages. I mean, they certainly hope the behavior will stop um, for other Shipley employees. Um, and they hope to send a message to other employers to not engage in this type of conduct, not to assume you're immune from complying with the law. We have tried reaching out to Mr. Shipley both online and by phone, but have not yet heard back. Now, we want to clarify that these are only allegations at this point, and the defendant has at least three weeks to respond to that lawsuit. Ron? All right. We'll be following this one. Janelle Buda, thank you so much.